wanted to take a brief moment to describe how to use Equation Editor within Microsoft Word. You'll notice, again, similar to Excel, we have all the tabs up here. And to enter an equation, we'll want to go to Insert. You'll notice that under the Symbols subbar here, there's the little pie. So that tells us that's how to enter an equation. So if I just press that, it will give me a box where I can start inputting my equation, or basically any type of mathematical typing. So let's say I wanted to do y equals x squared plus 3x plus 7. Well, the neat part is in the equation editor is if I hit x, caret 2, and then I hit a plus sign, it automatically converts that caret 2 to an exponent. Then 3x plus 7. The advantage of using equation editor is that the formatting is real, really nice and pretty, versus if I were just to generically type in y equals x squared plus 3x plus 7 without using equation editor, you'll notice first of all that it tries to capitalize things, the caret doesn't convert to an exponent, the, the, the font type of x and y looks kind of uh, mechanical, the equation editor makes everything look very nice. Now also, a shortcut way of entering an equation without having to go to the Insert tab, I'm, al I'm always big on shortcuts uh, in, in typing, if you press Alt and the Equals button, that will also enter an equation and that way you don't have to keep going through the tabs. Now also some neat things are if I wanted to do something like 3 divided by x, and I type 3 divided by x space, it automatically converts it to a nice fraction the way we're used to seeing them. Um, if you wanted to do something like 3x plus 7 divided by 2, you've got to be a little bit careful because if I type it this way and I want 3x plus 7 all to be in the numerator, but I hit divided by 2, it's only going to take the last thing and put it over a 2. So how do I get 3x plus 7 in the top? Well, the neat thing is if I do parentheses the way I would in my calculator, close the parentheses and do divided by 2, and now hit space, not only does it take 3x plus 7 and put it all on top of 2, but it also removes those parentheses there so that we're just seeing what we really want to be seeing. Now, what you can also do in here is uh, different types of settings, like if you're looking for something specific and don't know how to input it, like a radical, for example. You can just select the radicals tab, and now you can plug in uh, a square root, or if you want to do like the fifth root of something, you'll notice that this one has the radicand and the, the type of radical all blank. So all you have to do is come in here and fill in the blanks like fifth root of let's say 25. Then I can just do it shorthand that way. Now square root has a special function so if I do alt equals and I type in a backslash and do sqrt for square root and now I do parenthesis it automatically puts in the square root sign for me and now I can tell it exactly what I want under the radical. So let's say I want 3x plus 7 all to appear under the radical sign. I'll do 3x plus 7, close my parenthesis. The second I hit space, it automatically converts the whole thing to be under the radical. So a lot of neat things here. If you're looking for symbols, all the symbols appear under this bar. You can kind of scroll down and see what's available. Uh, also under equation, you can select some specific types of equations like if you're looking for area of a circle or Pythagorean theorem you can use these little shortcuts so that you don't have to type it all in this is just sort of convenience or quadratic formula it's already typed in so uh, this way I wouldn't have to do it all by hand but instead I could actually just sh uh, shortcut select it um, also you'll see here different types of like li if you want to work with limits or different common types of functions like let's say limit of, uh, I don't know, 2x plus, plus 3 as x goes to 7, I would just type in x, a dash, and then I would type in a greater than sign and it converts it to an, er an arrow. Everything turns out to be nice and pretty in here. So uh, the best way to kind of get into it is just to experiment, see what you can come up with. And if you have questions, feel free to email or ask, and I'm happy to post some more videos.